Hey everybody, today we're with legendary angler Joe Booker. Welcome Joe. Good to be here Jay. Hey, glad to have you and uh, let's dive right in with some Q&A for Joe. Sounds good. Hey Joe, um, we've had a lot of people ask um, over the years, what makes you determine what type of blade color to use you know let's say you know uh, you know nickel brass versus those fluorescent colors well I, I you know one of the things I do that's real simple I I just look at sky conditions light conditions boy when there's sun out I usually like meta uh, metallic blades so if I've got real clear water I tend to lean towards the nickel side of things but when the water's got a coffee stain to it or red wine stain to it then I'm more into copper and, and brass and I'll let the fish kind of decide that. Now, overcast conditions, painted blades, painted blades. So I'm, 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 you know, and it's one of those things that I've just noticed the fish like them better. I think metallics need the reflection of the sun to really set them off. And, you know, they, they become kind of black or gray when it's overcast. But painted blades really, like, they almost like glow when, when there's an overcast condition. So I like painted blades. When do I use chartreuse over orange? Nah, I just kind of test fish on it. I, t I tend to use the green blades more in that green water or slightly stained stuff, but when I get that dark tannic color like we have a lot of these northern Wisconsin lakes, I'm more into like the hot orange. But you know, if you're at all uh, get, trying to do some guesswork on it, just use a, a multicolored blade like, you know, like a, a flame blade, then you got the best of both worlds. And ultimately though, always test, when you gotta follow, test the fish. Sometimes the fish want metallic, sometimes they want painted blades, no matter what the conditions are. So ultimately, let the fish decide.